Hey everyone, Taylor here. Welcome back to another video in this Astrology Simply Put series where I am hoping to demystify astrology and support critical thinking. Today we are going to be talking about the planets. I've already gone over the signs, the houses, what is a birth chart, how to find your birth chart, and I will link all of those videos in the description box below. If you have any topics or questions that you would like me to do a video on, go ahead and leave them in the comments box below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and send to a friend. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, planets in astrology. So again, the sign is how, planet is the what, houses are the where, and the area of life. Here is a little cheat sheet. These are just one word terms that I think of with each planet. So the sun is self-expression, moon, emotions, mercury, communication, Saturn, limits, Venus, love and money, Uranus, revolution, Mars, action, Neptune, imagination, Jupiter, knowledge, and Pluto, power. At the end of this video, I have a more detailed cheat sheet that you can screenshot and you'll be able to find the timestamp for that in the description box if you wanna skip ahead and look at that and screenshot it or screenshot this one, whichever is helpful. So first off is the sun. This rules the sign of Leo and the keyword is self-expression. This is the core of a person, foundation, the inner self, general vitality, identity, ego, and natural self-expression. The characteristics of the sign it is in will describe, along with the aspects made to it, the expression. The theme of the house it is in will describe the area of life this focuses on. Now I put those last two sentences on each slide because that is going to um, apply to each one. So I won't say it every single time so it's not too repetitive, but maybe every other um, planet I will. So the moon rules the sign of cancer and the key word is emotions. This is natural emotional process, instinctive emotional response, our emotional security and foundation, our inner world, and it's not readily seen unless aspects and placements prove otherwise. Mercury rules both signs Gemini and Virgo. The key word is communication. This is our communication style, thought process, learning style, expression, and the mind. So again, the characteristics of the sign it is in will describe, along with aspects made to it, the expression. And the theme of the house it is in will describe the area of life this focuses on. And a little side note, even though Chiron is not a planet, um, neither are the luminaries sun and moon, I think the asteroid Chiron would be a fitting ruler for Virgo. Um, I'll make a video about how each planet relates to the sign they rule and why, and then I'll go more in depth about um, Chiron and Virgo there. Just a little side note. Don't worry about it if you don't know um, what that means. <laughs> um, Venus rules both signs Taurus and Libra. The key words are love and money. This is how we give and receive love, our sensuality, what we value in general and in love, how and what we spend money on, what we find beauty in, this is, it describes our social etiquette and what we feel is harmonious. Mars rules the sign of Aries. It was also the ancient ruler of Scorpio before Pluto was discovered in 1930. Um, the keyword here is action. This is the style in which we take action, our drive, our courage, our sense of courage, I guess. Um, how we assert ourselves, our temperament, and it will describe aggression, if any. This is also sexuality and sex drive. The sign, or the characteristics of the sign it is in will describe, along with aspects made to it, the expression, and the theme of the house it is in will describe the area of life this focuses on. Jupiter, this rules the sign of Sagittarius. And it was also the ancient ruler of Pisces before Neptune was discovered in 1846. Keyword here is knowledge. Jupiter represents how we expand our minds, where we find joy in adventure, where we learn from experience, our search for individual meaning and purpose. This is also associated with abundance and possible overindulgence. 
So again, the characteristics of the sign it is in will describe, along with the aspects made to it, the expression, and the theme of the house it is in will describe the area of life this focuses on. Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn, and it was the ancient ruler of Aquarius until Uranus was discovered in 1781, and the keyword is limits. This describes the limits and delays we meet in life, where we meet resistance, where we prefer structure, control, where we feel we need to work hard, long-term ambition, lessons, and maturity. I would say lessons over time, and then maturity comes with that. Uranus rules the sign of Aquarius, and the keyword is revolutionary. This describes where we experience sudden inspiration, sudden change, where we feel the need to be innovative and rebellious and break the mold. The energy of this um, planet is contrary and eccentric. Neptune rules the sign of Pisces, and the keyword is imagination. This describes our relationship with our spiritual connection, imagination. It can describe cloudiness and illusions, um, projections, rose-colored glasses, fantasy, and disillusion. And Pluto. This rules the sign of Scorpio, and the keyword is power. This describes how we transform, where we experience a metaphorical cycle of death and rebirth, which leads to transformation, where we desire power and experience obsession. This describes metamorphosis and rebirth within this lifetime. So again, the characteristics of the sign it is in will describe, along with the aspects made to it, the expression, and the theme of the house it is in will describe the area of life this focuses on. So as I said before, here is a more in-depth cheat sheet for you. You can screenshot it and keep it in your gallery. I think having keywords makes it a lot easier to get to know each planet and you can even assign your own, um, whichever helps you most. So I'll go through these real quick. And if you have any that you would like to add, go ahead and comment um, below. I would love to hear what you would add or which one's your favorite. So the sun, self-expression, vitality, and the natural sense of being. Moon, natural emotional response, base instinct, and emotional security. Mercury, the mind, communication, and learning. Saturn, limitation, responsibility, structure, and control. Venus, love, values, social etiquette, and money. Uranus, sudden change, revolution, and rebellion. Mars, action, assertion, aggression, slash temperament, and libido. Neptune, disillusion, imagination, and spiritual connection. Jupiter, expansion, growth, knowledge, and good fortune. Pluto, transformation, and power. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, you can like this video, subscribe and or utilize the thanks button below and we'll see you on the next one.